Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, we're going to be trying something crazy and fun today. In fact, this could be a way for players to get into the meta if they are not currently having like big lucas for arena and stuff like that. It's also just pretty viable, for, I think, for like, you know, niche 3v3 teams, all that type of stuff. We're going to be using a couple of epics and, um, I guess really a bit part legendary, but let me show you what's going on. Uh, this is inspired, actually. I was having a chat with Saf a few days ago after the blessing changes, and I was like, feels like on our blessing tier list, we've put the new lethal dose quite high. And he's like, yeah, the problem is it's, it's so niche because you need at least really a three-star blessing to make it work. So we're going to be juggling around with our kind of like blessing stuff right now, actually. We're going to be changing it up as soon as we can because a lot of people have got these kind of like niche picks, but you do need a certain level of blessing. Anyway, I started to think about it and I was like, well, who have I got that could fill the role that I want to do for today? And I was like, I do have Calvalax, right? But Calvalax, my blessing was quite low, two star. And I was like, well, I do have a champion Tomb Lord who I've got a high level blessing for. But I didn't want to throw anyone in that was too unobtainable. But this would be, I mean, I got a five star on Tomb Lord. So this would be nutty for him because with the changes to lethal dose now, we can get some crazy damage away through poisons. So think about a Tomb Lord. Tomb Lord's got the ability to throw four poisons out if he crits. Four poisons. A poison normally does 5% percentage health. Okay, so imagine... You've got that's basically 20% of the enemy's health when it ticks. Yeah, but then if you throw the lethal dose multipliers in, you're actually getting 200% of that damage. 200 if you've got someone to five star. Two mod would be one shot in everybody. But for this video, I thought, no, we're going to go with champions which are a bit more obtainable. And I just happen to have souls on my two Tauruses. Funny thing with Tauruses, when he does his poison, he's like that. And I'm unkillable. So once they're out there, you guys are in trouble, right? You guys are in a lot of pain because I've got a three star and a four star here. So the difference becomes worthwhile, I would say, at three star. Once you get a three star blessing on someone like this, bear in mind, he also puts four poisons out. So now each poison's doing 10% max HP. We're putting four poisons out on each of these dudes. Basically, for the rotation of poisons we got, we should be able to kill anyone as long as they don't cleanse them off and heal and all that sort of stuff in between. So it's a bit of a niche pick, but uh, I figured let's give it a try and make it fun. With my Tauruses, I've built them both uber slow. 137 high accuracy. That's all I cared about. Stone skin gear. Uh, why not? Let everyone else use up their reaction sets. Let everyone else use up all their stuff. And then we'll rock in once it's all happened and just... Bring the nukes. Again, super slow, high accuracy. That's all I cared about with their builds. Literally, it was just like, have I got any stone skin gear without speed on it? That's all I was looking for. Has it got good accuracy rolls and no speed? Um, and I was like, okay, what problems could I come up against here? Well, what if my accuracy is not enough in my stone skin gear? So I was like, okay, well, let's bring someone in who's a little bit faster, who is going to buff my accuracy. So Yoshi the Drunkard was a good one for this. There's probably plenty that do it, actually. I'll I tell you what is a really useful tool nowadays. I really like this. I use it a lot now. You can actually come in and be like, uh, where's the increase accuracy buff here? Who have I got that does increase accuracy? It's a shame it doesn't let you say for the whole team and stuff, but um, you could be going through your champs and just being like, right, well, where can I get my increased accuracy from? This is a dude, the Clod. The Clod could do it. Yeah, where can I get it from? Um, and what else do they bring that could help me? But yeah, basically, I'm using Yoshi because he was already kind of half built for me. And again, all stone skin gear. I'm just waiting out the enemy turns and then we're going to go. And then the other thing I was thinking of was what? What if there's a load of block debuffs out there by the time I get my turn? So I thought someone I've not used in ages uh, can come back. Let's reset those. Again, there's plenty. There's actually now a number of options, not plenty. There's a number of options that do the same job. but Anyone that can buff strip, I actually don't need the Madame decreased defense out of this, but the buff strip is really useful. So she's a little bit quicker than my Taurus is and a bit slower than my Yoshi. Again, stone skin, accuracy gear, you know, accuracy rolls, a little bit more speed because I wanted to go before my Taurus is. 
And I guess let's have a run. I'm quite high in arena because of the video I did yesterday showing off the king and queen. There's a few things that you'd have to avoid. So, and, and I tried it already. Rotors with Sifi is a problem. Yeah, Rotors with Sifi. So Rotors just gets cleaned out. Unless Sifi's already dead, Rotus will be cleaned of all of the debuffs every time he takes a turn if he's paired with Sifi. So you've got to be aware of that. I just lock out champions like Warlord and Yumiko, that you know, the like. They are, they're a problem because they're just going to lock out your only ability that's going to do damage. So you've got to avoid those. So block damage could be a problem, but I think we're so slow that we should just outdo it. In terms of the setup, it's pretty easy. Just make sure you do your increase accuracy, make sure you clean off. Make sure you do your poison. So nothing um, too crazy there. And then it's literally like that. Let's see what happens. No one kills you through stone skin unless they've got insane builds. So I'm not worried about that. Yeah, get all your buffs up. All fine. All fine. There goes the buffs. Here comes the poison. And by the way, here comes some pain. Look at that. Every time they're taking a turn, basically 80% of their health is in the bin. The one shot on Mashold. He's gone. He's a goner. Oh, how are you feeling over there, my friend? Not great is the answer. Not great. And that is a high level team absolutely duped by a basically a nobody team. Oh man, what's going on here? He could be a problem, I guess. Don't know. Don't know. Any of this, I guess any of it could be a problem, but um <laughs> it's quite fun to try right so yeah you've got your one one turn stone skin whatever it's gonna eat into mine quite a bit lots of damage we're expecting it okay for the high level nuka team how are you feeling about this lots of poisons on oh it's painful it's painful to take a turn against me i'll tell you that really hurts hefrak your nukes are not going to do the job my friend it's not enough. It's not enough. This is what I was worried about, though. Yoshi popping back up. Why has he got all those buffs? He's just stolen all my buffs. Yeah, Yoshi popping back up has actually ruined my day. It did ruin my day, even though he's super weak. Do we kill him anyway? Kill him anyway. Ah, oh, it's actually close. Arishka's probably a problem. Tormund could be a problem. There's actually more problems than I thought there would be, but uh, we are at high level arena here. Can I find a team without the things which I think are a problem? Uh, what about this one? This one here, 269k power. Void legendaries coming out of all places. Harima in there, one of the nastiest champions in arena defense. Like, I think with some tweaking, it's potentially actually a viable strat. High level gameplay, high level viable strat, I think. Especially if you've got if you've got five star blessing, can you imagine it? Five star blessing, how do they win? It's a one shot at five star. It's an actual one shot. Look at this: Taris in the bin, Sifi in the bin, Harima in the bin with a bunch of epics. Honestly, it's nuts. George it hits through stone skin. So again, he's potentially a problem. This one could be good. The 341k team power, full meta champions. Nasty team. Like, this is a horrible team to face. This could be a problem here, though. The two turn stone skin. Maybe it's an issue. Yeah, it is. Oh, look at that. Dutch is just getting absolutely pulverized. As I say, this is a kind of a meme version of the team, but I think, I think there might be some stuff that you could do that makes it less meme-y, honestly. Like, if you've just got someone in the squad that can actually kill, you know, the, the, the stragglers. If there was a straggler like this and, and we're actually feeling like we're in, in some sort of threat, the other thing you could do is make the Tauruses kind of like glass cannon damage dealers. And, and again, kill off the stragglers because they one person can't kill your whole team. I mean, if we actually got back to our abilities again as well, which we might. Oh, it got resisted. Oh, wow. Anyway, it's, it's just, it's got some like real legs. It's definitely got some real legs. So it's definitely a challenge. Like 
if there's two turn stone skin stuff, this is a challenge because it's basically a counter to what we're doing. I'd imagine this UDK is going to have. Oh, he doesn't have it. Okay. Doesn't have it. If he'd, if he'd had two turn stone skin, all I'm thinking is instead of going full auto and just letting your abilities fly, you actually wait another turn out and wait for the stone skin to drop. But this should be all she wrote. This should be everybody dead. Look at the damage against these legendary meta champions. Absolutely in the dirt. All of them in the dirt. Just keeping an eye for two turn stone skins. We don't have any here. So there shouldn't be any threat in this team at all. Unless we fail to remove the block debuffed. Wow. What sort of resistance has she got? Because I've got what? Like. With the increased accuracy, I'm at like 800 accuracy there. I guess I could, to make it more robust, I could change my Madame to actually have um, one turn stone skin and way more accuracy in her build. Like I could go up with um, Perception Gear. I could give her like another few hundred uh, accuracy, probably another like 200 at least, just to make sure that she does her job. This is what I was talking about here. So I'd imagine this is going to be a two-turn stone skin event. You've got to watch out for polymorphs as well, by the way. Polymorphs, I haven't seen any yet, but polymorphs would be a problem. These are all one-turn stone skin. So I think all I'm going to do is just A1 it out my first set of turns. Unless they're quicker than me, which looks like they are. Okay, they are. Because I've already a one with the Yoshi, I probably should just A1 it out with the rest of my dudes. Or maybe A2 here. A1. Yoshi's going next. Okay. Get our accuracy up. I'm just going to A1 here. And then we're going to auto. The Madame should do her job. Clean it all off. All of these buffs. Look at them. They're like, they think they're in the, got the upper hand here. You're in trouble. You're in a lot of trouble. Damn it. It's happened again. You serious? And even more accuracy on this Madame. What the hell? Am I using the right Madame? It's a shame because everyone is so dead. I wonder if, like, even as it is, do we get back round to our abilities before they even get theirs? Just need those poisons back. Oh, the block debuffs is back on. <laughs> and now it happens again. Man. Come on, Taurus. Don't let me down. Let's focus fire her. Everyone else is just going to be dead again. Like, they, they can't sustain it. They can't sustain the damage. Anyway, <laughs> you get the idea. I mean, it's, it's super fun. There's a lot of champions actually in the game that do this kind of multiple poisons. It's another thing as well. Like, what about if, if you've got someone like a Xavia or an Elenaru on the team and they just wipe those poisons off straight away so there's no kind of like hope for the enemy team? There's actually a number of different things I think you could do with this. Let's go for one more. Uh, he could clean me out. We'll see. We'll see. But I do think it's a super fun um, change to the game. But also, but yeah, yes, he's managed to clean off all of my 50-50s, of course. When I'm trying to do it, it's like zero, zero chance it lands. When they try and do it, 100% chance. But yeah, it does feel like there's potential in this to just mix things up a little bit. Or at least... Give people a chance to kind of build out some other champions, especially in those kind of like 3v3 teams where maybe you don't have the wider roster and you might have one of these sitting on the bench and you're like, damn, actually, there's some stuff that I could do here. Like, look at the power when, it, when it's like kicking in. It's insanely strong. What you don't want to do is turn people into a sheep, though. Who have I got Polymorph on? Must be this dude. Anyway, you get the idea. Hopefully, um, hopefully it's fun. Look, you might not do it. You might do it, but definitely a fun change. And does mean that Lethal Dose might actually get some gameplay with the right champions. Imagine Calvalax unleashing a five-star um, blessing. Before the round even starts, everybody's got four poisons on and they get one shot. It's actually going to be nuts. Anyway, I've been Hell Hades. Have yourself a great day. I'll see you soon.